And good evening, everyone. At uh, 11 o'clock, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Tonight, as lights go out in parks all around the city, we're also following up to see what's being done to keep the public safe while they're in the dark and when we can expect to see those lights come back on. Going beyond the headlines tonight, our Joelle Jones spent tonight at the first sites to have those lamp posts removed, Irving Park. We're out here in Irving Park, though you probably can't see us. That's better. We wanted to show you just how dark it is out here now that Portland Parks and Recreation have removed 56 of the 73 lampposts they plan to replace out here. And while the city tells us safety is what's guiding this replacement project, the people we spoke with today tell us safety is their primary concern now that the lights are off. We still have a problem with rape. We have a lot of shootings in Portland. People feel safer if there's uh, lighting. Steve Law says daylight savings came just in time for park goers this year as lights begin to go out in parks around the city. Board chair of the Friends of Mount Tabor Park, Law says they're worried about the public safety of those walking, biking, running and recreating in Portland parks. Is it more safe to not have lanterns that hypothetically might tip over if someone really put a lot of pressure on them? Or is it safer to have lighting so that people can see? This comes as Portland Parks and Recreation plans to remove and replace 243 light poles throughout 12 city parks. The Bureau says they are removing a portion of the light poles that, quote, have been identified as having structural anchoring issues which could pose life and safety hazards to the public. They go on to say PP&R is pursuing all avenues for potential funding to replace light poles as quickly as possible, including federal earmarks. But as the agency looks to source more funding, they confirmed they've only secured $5 million of major maintenance funds to remove poles that pose a safety risk, while the project is estimated to cost nearly $15 million. We understand the city, you know, has a need to get money for uh, maintenance and safety. We kind of think don't take the lanterns down before you get the money. With Mount Tabor projected to need more than 200 lampposts replaced, we asked park goers what they thought. I typically come here around like sunset time and then sometimes forget my headlamp, so I guess I would have to really make sure I have a headlamp and it, it kind of gives it like character and I like seeing the lampposts, yeah. I'm kind of sad about it. There's actually kind of a nightlife here. Yeah. Um, and the lights do provide um, an ambiance to that. To help ensure safety, Portland Parks and Recreation says they plan to prioritize park rangers at impacted sites and will close parks at 10 p.m. But those on the ground, like Law, feel the process is moving too fast and without enough public input. Portlanders don't listen to that. You know, you can close the gate so they can't drive in, but they're going to be here anyway. They'll come when they have time when they want to come. So we have to kind of accommodate them. Well, the Bureau says it could take several months for the removed lamppost to be replaced. They say they are actively looking for additional funding options and could have an update as early as next week. So, of course, we will continue to follow this. Reporting in Irving Park, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News.